Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about um, the URL structure, how to set up your WordPress blog so um, all the links that you're using are SEO friendly and you get the benefit of uh, you know keywords and different things like that. Let me show you, um, let me just pull up, go ahead and pull up your site if you can, if you're next to your computer. Let me just kind of show you, I'm going to kind of scroll down here and uh, so here's an, here's an example, okay? I did a post on adding images to WordPress. Now when I click this, you'll see in the address bar, it says wordpresshowtos.com forward slash adding images to WordPress posts. Okay, so it's actually giving the title of the post that I wrote. Um, you'll see a lot of people, when, they, when you initially um, start your, your blog, you'll, you'll most likely see something like this where it's post, you know, this is your 23rd post, so they just kind of do it like that. That is not SEO friendly, and I see a lot of people out there still doing this. So go ahead and go into your dashboard. I'm just going to show you real quick how to do this, okay? Under your settings tab, um, you have the, this uh, sub nav. These are called permalinks. Right here is where you can actually um, set up your permalink structure. Um, like I said, the default is this... Uh, your URL with the question mark post equals and a number. Not SEO friendly. Um, a lot of people do this uh, date with a sample post name. Um, so basically what that does is it just kind of, after I've clicked that, you'll see down here, it's, it's kind of made that structure for me. I don't personally like to have the date and the name in there. Um, it, I don't know, I just, I'm more of just having the uh, post name in there. So all you do is just take the tail end of that off and you've got your post name now. So after you save that, it does that for all of your posts now. So any kind of, uh, any kind of post that you go into, it automatically includes the title of the post at the end of the URL. And the neat thing about this also that I'll, I'll just show you the last thing is editing a post URL. So I just went into manage posts and I'm just going into one of my posts that I've written and basically what it does now is it includes this permalink down here at the right below the title so you can actually edit this for what you want it to say now my only word of advice is usually just leave it but if it become if you have a long title that's you know eight to ten keywords then maybe go in here and edit this and just make it a little bit shorter don't don't have any kind of a URL that's just too long um, just try to steer steer clear of that. So anyway, hope this helps and uh, just keep checking back There's a quick update on how to update permalinks leave comments if you guys need any help, All right?